Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. Okay, let's have a look how our login screen will uh, look like so we need we understand visually what we are going to design. So first, uh, by default, we have our sign in view where it's just a title on top and then we have like a text field here with the labels, which is just text. Then we have a button here for got password. We have a sign in button, a different uh, user interface we are going to to and at the bottom here we have sign up button and a text so if I click it adds one more area to my sign in and here I'm just going to repeat my password and it also changes my button title into sign up so let's start from top uh, we have uh, let's actually start from creating a new file after my checkout command n this is a Swift UI file. Click next, and it's going to be login view. Okay, let me just close the side panel. Maybe our canvas will actually work now. So I will start this, resume. And let's just give it a few seconds to load because once I start typing, it may have too much things to load and it start crashing so i'm going to zoom out okay so far it works so let's start from the top part here so we have a uh, text here so you can see our uh, visual interface is like from top to bottom so we are going to use a vertical stack so we put our items into this stack here so I'm going to uh, get rid of my text here and create a V stack. And my V stack is going to start with a text. So the text is going to be sign in. And if I click on resume, you will see that sign in appears here on top, hopefully. No, at the, at the middle actually and it's too small what we want to do is to make it big heavy so our user can see it easily we put font weight and this is going to be heavy then I'm going to change the font to large title and also let's put some padding here, uh, padding, and uh, let's put padding for bottom and for top. And we need a dot here. And the padding should be 20 points. Okay, so we have our sign in but it's in the middle of the screen. So once we start adding other items under our VStack, it's going to adjust and push this uh, up. So the next element in our user interface is just a text called email. Let's say text and call this email. And here again, I'm going to put a font, which is going to be headline and put a uh, font weight let's put this light because it's like a title on top like a placeholder kind of thing uh, we don't want to have it like bold to distract us from the text area then uh, let's put a uh, foreground color and create a color initialize this with label and I want to add some opacity and this is going to be let's add 75% opacity and 
and you can see how our email actually I have a typo here email is okay so we have our email now what we want to do is to create our text entry so in order to create our text entry we are going to create our uh, text field so we say text field and then our text field should have some kind of variable you see it has a text binding string so it has to be some kind of variable that our text field can uh, put the information that we type in into this variable so for this we are going to create variables at top and these are going to be at state vars because uh, these are going to be changing during the runtime so we say var email is equals to empty string and at state var password is equals to empty string and at state var repeat password is equals to empty string now we have these uh, three variables and now in my text field once I create I will have a title which is enter your email so this is like the placeholder actually of our text and this is the variable will keep our uh, information in it so we say uh, dollar sign email and once we have this let me just click try again here and see if it appears no it's not um, what we want to do uh, we add this line here which is called divider so I will just say uh, divider open close parenthesis and now you can see it even added our text field to our uh, screen so our email is ready the next thing we are going to do our password so basically I will repeat the code here so this is going to be password everything is same apart from our text field because our user is going to be inputting a password we want to make sure that this is secure text entry so instead of text field it will be secure field and uh, instead of enter your email we're going to say enter your password and very very important is to check this variable because otherwise whatever we input in our uh, password area it will be set as our email variable so we say password here and then we have our divider and after our password we want to have an if statement so basically uh, the area where our repeat password is we want to know if this sign up button is clicked or no if it's clicked we want to show it otherwise we want to hide it so let's have a variable on top that will keep track if this uh, button is clicked and in order to keep track of something we need to add at state and this is going to be var and show wing sign up and by default this is going to be false so let's go here at the bottom and I'm going to put my if statement right after my divider so I say if showing sign up then I'm going to simply copy this and put it here and call this repeat password and and 
enter your password we will say repeat password and the variable of course we need to change it to repeat password and again we have our divider once we are done 